There is understeer. There is oversteer. And then there's a four-wheel slide through an unavoidable spackle of rubber marbles that have built up through a fast, prolonged sweeper. A highlight reel of every other Indy 500 crash zips through my brain, as driver after driver goes offline, catches the marbles, and sails into the crunchy confines of the safer barrier. But then, there is an awful lot to be said for downforce. For, even as its otherwise sticky Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires struggle with the marbles, the 2018 Mercedes-AMG GTR continues to tenaciously hold itself to Portugal's Autodromo International do Algarve. The GTR isn't just an extra stein of power poured into the regular GT with some bigger, pricier brakes thrown on for good measure. That was largely the AMG MO of yesteryear. And, okay, it still has those, but with the R, you get extra vents, foils, ducts, and diffusers that all contribute to keeping the ultimate AMG GT adhered to Portugal through that grand corner. And, quite ideally, most of them are hidden away, preventing one of the most beautiful cars in the world from becoming an overwrought track day special. Those parts also provide plenty of faith to progressively feed in throttle as that long, final sweeper unwinds into Algarve's main straight as marbles kicked up from the car ahead bang, bang, bang off the GTR's long, long hood. The lateral G's first press me into the prominent bolsters of the optional AMG race seats and then into their thin backs. It's invigorating, but then comes the deep, guttural, nasty bellow of the hand-built 4.0-liter V8 massaged up to 585 horsepower courtesy new turbochargers with a higher boost pressure, plus a modified compression ratio, sharpened throttle mapping, and a modified exhaust, including an additional, center mount port. Mercedes says the entire combustion process has been retuned and the grand total is 82 more horsepower than in the AMG GTS. But then, there is an awful lot to be said for downforce. For, even as its otherwise sticky Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires struggle with the marbles, the 2018 Mercedes AMG GTR continues to tenaciously hold itself to Portugal's Autodromo International do Algarve. The GTR isn't just an extra stein of power poured into the regular GT with some bigger, pricier brakes thrown on for good measure. That was largely the AMG MO of yesteryear. And, okay, it still has those, but with the R, you get extra vents, foils, ducts, and diffusers that all contribute to keeping the ultimate AMG GT adhered to Portugal through that grand corner. And, quite ideally, most of them are hidden away, preventing one of the most beautiful cars in the world from becoming an overwrought track day special. Those parts also provide plenty of faith to progressively feed in throttle as that long, final sweeper unwinds into Algarve's main straight as marbles kicked up from the car ahead bang, bang, bang off the GTR's long, long hood. The lateral G's first press me into the prominent bolsters of the optional AMG race seats and then into their thin backs. It's invigorating, but then comes the deep, guttural, nasty bellow of the hand-built 4.0-liter V8 massaged up to 585 horsepower courtesy new turbochargers with a higher boost pressure, plus a modified compression ratio, sharpened throttle mapping, and a modified exhaust including an additional, center mount port. Mercedes says the entire combustion process has been retuned and the grand total is 82 more horsepower than in the AMG GTS. When the car is in race mode at speeds higher than 50 miles per hour, a carbon fiber blade lowers by 1.6 inches and significantly changes airflow. This reduces front axle lift by essentially sucking the car to the ground and leads to improved high-speed steering and stability. There wasn't a GTS on hand to compare to this improved bit, but there certainly is never a reduction in confidence from the GTR's steering, which lets you sharply and fluidly turn into corners. But more on that shortly. As the air moves under the GTR, it's channeled to the special rear diffuser or up to the air outlet between the taillights, shared with the one-rung lower GTC. 
These help the rear of the car remain planted, as does the carbon fiber wing that can be manually adjusted to match the downforce requirements of a particular track or drive, an electric adjustment would have added weight. And all that downforce continues to be appreciated as the Autodromo continues to throw curves at the GTR, particularly those cresting a series of blind hills that perpetually left me wondering, which way do I turn again? Handling the rebound of such track elevation changes and real-world pavement irregularities is the new coilover suspension special to the GTR. Most elements are constructed of forged aluminum to reduce unsprung mass, a thicker anti-roll bar is applied at the rear and the adjustable coilovers allow you to alter the ride height if needed. They also combine with AMG Ride Control, the continuously variable and adaptive damping system that works within three ranges, comfort for all street driving, sport for undulating race tracks like the green hell of the Nürburgring for which that snazzy AMG green hell magno paint job is named, and sport plus for pristine modern Grand Prix circuits like Algarve.